Alright, welcome everybody to the Kinerize Balloon Chunk YouTube site. I am Ed Cruz and today we're going to go over a short idea as far as helping your footwork when it comes to Wing Chun. Now, I know there's many different theories as far as how to do footwork. Is there a, is there a 100 0 stance, 70 30 stance, 50 50 stance, whatever the case may be. But basically, let's just boil down to this is how we're doing it and this is the logic behind why we're doing it. In the real fight situation, right, there's really no technique. If you end up trying to plan something, or basically, if it looks like something that you're doing in the school, and you try to apply it in a real fight situation where there's total chaos, the chances of that working are pretty slim, okay? So in reality, think about it, in the fight situation, you want mobility, but you want structured mobility, all right? So what's the most natural way for you to move? The most natural way to, for you to move is just your regular way. Yeah, that means if I, if I go from this way and I'm moving around just like this, and what I'm doing is basically controlling my center of gravity to be vertical every single time. And that's what you want to do. You want to be able to hold your own structure without being dependent on anyone else. For example, if you watch um, other styles of uh, martial arts, notice what happens when two forces or two forces clash with one another. You see one lose balance and the other one gain balance, or two of them are leaning on each other. At no point in Wing Chun are we ever dependent on the other individual structure. My structure, regardless, is always my own structure which I can control. So, a simple drill, okay, is basically freestyle footwork. There's basically 16 footwork in Wing Chun, and the whole concept of it is, is to be a ping pong ball. That's it. What is it? Not ping pong ball. Uh, pinball. Pinball, yes. Pinball, by that means, if you go in the, in the pinball machine and you fire that ball, no matter where the force hits the ball, the ball moves constantly. But the ball can only move you if you control your center of gravity in place. If I end up leaning and, all my, and I have no control of my center of gravity, one force can lead me over here and easily push me over. Now, that does not mean that I'm always statically vertical from here. I can be up, I can be down, but I have control of my center of gravity every single time. So if you have a small area, you're working in an apartment or whatever, and you have like a short, maybe five by five area, freestyle footwork is always the best way to do it. In the very beginning, when you want to work on footwork, it can look awkward, it can be slow, and it might look robotic. So it may look like something like this, correct? Right? Walk, forward, step slide, backward brace, 180, step slide, back, turn, boom, shift, shift, turn, brace, Step slide, step slide, so forth. That's what it's going to look like in the beginning, and it's okay. Even if you do it at that particular speed, make sure your main goal is not to memorize a particular footwork. Your main goal is like, if I want to go somewhere, okay, I want to go straight here, I just simply go straight. Whatever I naturally feel at that moment in time is the correct footwork. If I want to step back, I have my target. My target's here, I step back and trace. So eventually in time, whether it's a big area or a small area, just move. You don't even recognize the footwork, but notice I control my center of gravity, right? Every single time. Every single time I control my center of gravity. You don't see me leading one way or another, okay? So that's my tip for you, practice it. And the funny thing is, the best way to have a strong center of gravity is to make sure you know your vertical. And you develop that from what? So top. All right, thank you by the way everyone for subscribing and supporting the site. And you haven't enjoyed Kieran Rice uh, Facebook or Premium, definitely do so. Hey everybody, like I said, I have information for you for those of you interested in learning Wing Chun. The Kieran Rice Wing Chun University Facebook site is 100% free. So if you're still not sure whether or not you should join the Premium site, just check out the videos here. We, I go into a ton of details. There's over 300 videos with hundreds of hours of Wing Chun that you can imagine. And you can actually interact with everybody here from around the world who have joined the university. I have articles and chats constantly going on about Wing Chun. So definitely check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to the Kieran Rice Wing Chun University site. This is the premium area that I was talking about earlier in the video. So what is this site for if you're really hardcore Wing Chun? I mean, you wanna learn the art, you wanna decode it, you wanna know all the forms, you wanna know the inside out, this is a site for you. On the other hand, if you're still unsure, you're on the fence, and you don't want to join any of the six-month or one-year package, then try the Facebook site. It's 100% free. But really, this is for the hardcore individual that wants to learn. I, you know, here's the thing. I, I just see too often people have all these Wing Chun groups and discussions and so forth, and there's actually nothing being said. 
there's basically Yip Man quotes, Bruce Lee quotes, old videos of Yip Man and Wing Chun versus this and this and that. So look, like I said, if you're really serious about learning the art, I'm here to help you and definitely join the site, join the premium site and you'll definitely learn Wing Chun.